Why they be doing no good like uh, Israel? See, wait till they be doing right what you said. I too love you. I am happy you are happy. What the hell? Wait till Israel give the video job. The one who made the video, they outrightly they prophesy love for Israel like this. Ah! Ah! Wait till he chop like this. Even can uh, tag Israel for his own wall. Even like, right? I love this guy. Damn! Israel head will just be. Just be. See? For those of us, who are saying Israel talks too much? Very soon he will get himself sad. Now we can now understand. Eh? We are gradually understanding it that see, David do love the way Israel is talking. In fact, the day Israel stopped talking, he might get himself sad. So Israel can never stop defending his organ when necessary and when not necessary. Is the only 30 BG gang that can outrightly, outrightly talk, say, defend your girl against anybody. He's the only one. Every other person is just being, you no know, matured and everything. But Israel will always talk. And for those of us who are saying he's talking too much, obviously the boss have said it. Israel is not talking too much. He likes exactly the way Israel is carrying him. Maoga, Maoga, Maoga. He likes exactly the way Israel is carrying him. And let's be honest, Maoga no me say anybody na slave. Maoga me say now you be my boss. That is how we call boss over here. That is why we call sir. If someone is uh, you know, if someone is the one paying us, that's what we call them over here. Oga. Oga, sa, 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 sa. That's what we call them over here. Hmm? So Israel is not going anywhere. And again, Real Madrid won the title for the 16th time. I'll be the 16th, I'll be the 15th. 16th time. We, of course, we know say Real Madrid now, they'll be the champion, champion league champions. They are the owner of Champions League. Nobody come close to them. They have only lost. They, are only, they have only lost their uh, two final of Champions League twice. Twice that they don't ever lose them. So it be extremely hard. Make Madrid go into final and knock them out. I don't. And I, I I didn't know why I never bet. I for place bet on that Madrid match yesterday. Ah, I for close my high place like uh, one. 500k bet. Maybe I forget 1.5 million. Now, you may leave place a uh, 5 million get a uh, bet. Make about 50 million. You may leave. Place 5 million bet. Makes about 50 million. Ah, now wow. I for place that bet. Ah, I for place that bet. I for place that bet. I for place that bet. I would have placed that bet. Ah. Well, I should have known that if Real Madrid go final, nothing they stop them. Nothing they stop them. I should have known that. I should have known. I should have known. Well, I'm so glad. Well, it's not all glad. I wasn't happy that Real Madrid won that final. Let me be honest with you. You know, it's a natural human thing. Where somebody comes to the career, or that's no going to carry on. You know, it's a natural human thing. I was, I'm talking based on um, emotional. It's natural. No be them. No be them. No be only them. They that pitch. No be only them. Other people did there as well. Other people did there as well. No be only them. Okay, guys. Uh, let's uh, check out this uh, girl. This woman. Sorry. This woman who is happily married. Well, just check out the video. That is a Christian girl happily, ma happily married to a Muslim guy. She said, honestly, it's been four years of marital bliss. 
safe to say that I marry the best guy. We go to church together every Sunday. And when I also practice his religion, nobody is forcing anybody to do anything because of love. I even have to start learning basic prayers in Islam. Are you into interreligious marriage and how has it been so far? Okay, I have so many things to talk about this thing. You know. But I hope when I talk about it, many of you will not see it as a form of uh, being rude or anything. Firstly, yeah, I cannot tolerate such thing. That is why I will never practice it. I can't, I can't, I can't tolerate it. I thought I was able to, I thought, if you ask me like last, like five years from now, or seven years from, uh, seven years ago, if I will be able to marry someone who is a Christian, and we both practice different religion in my house, honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me be completely honest. I don't think so. Because I always believe a man is, a man is the head of the house. If I give, if my daughter decides to marry a Christian and he said that's the person that he wants to marry and they agree to marry, eh? And they agree to marry. And my daughter said she's going to keep practicing being a Muslim. And the husband said, no, you practice, a, uh, uh, you practice Christianity. Eh? I will just tell my daughter, your husband is the man of the house. You understand? You agree to marry this man. So whatever I say, she, he, he said you should do the religion. You should do it because you already agreed to marry. You cannot beat him in his own house. Is the head, right? Well, some of you might not agree. Oh. Some of you might not agree. These couples are living really, really well. This is a blessed couple. It's extremely hard to see this kind of couple. It's extremely hard that their family are not interfering because the family are the number one enemy of such couples. The father will be like, I born you for Muslim. You go to marry Christian. You see, they practice, they go to church. There are some fathers so that will tell you, see, the day you go to church, you are gone. You are no longer my son again. I'm not asking you, I'm, I'm not doing anything to you, but don't, don't close, close to me. There are parents like that. Well, I'm happy for them that they are happy. Christian and Muslim, the same place, ah, bah. They, they try. Ah, they try, they try, they try. It's not easy. It's not easy. I don't know how they are going to do it. Many people also believe that this marriage will not last forever. That they are going to crash one day. No, no, no. We get our own Tunubu here. Me and Mary Christian. We still get our own uh, Fashola Abi, the former uh, Lagos State Governor. Abi, yes, I think Fashola is a Muslim. I don't know. Something, something like that. Eh? And so many other things as well. Abi? There's one Lagos State Governor, past Governor. They said that a Muslim or a Christian married the opposite religion. It's not easy in some homo. Many homes who, who try this kind of thing. Who, they will want to fight. It becomes a competition. They will want to fight over their children's religion. <laughs> well, uh, I'm so happy for them who, that they are able to find a very relaxed, a, a relaxed and non-toxic agreement within themselves. Ah, no. I'm so happy for them because it's not easy. I know it won't be easy because I won't tolerate it. Let me be completely honest. And I came across this video, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm sorry. I must share this video. I must share this video. I heard you pray five times a day. Yes. Five. Yes. You're Muslim. Yes. And you pray five times a day. Yes. Sometimes you don't feel like, mm, mommy and daddy sleeping. I'm not praying, John. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Prayer is more like a conversation with God. Mm. So you should not see it as uh, someone's forcing you to pray. Okay. Because you're doing it for, they're doing it for you. They're telling you to pray for you. For you. Uh, my parents didn't enforce it on me, you know. They told me why. And I see that the why is very important because it's, it's the driving force of mm. everything we do. So I see that if I pray, I'm going to talk with God. And mm. God is 
the Almighty. He can do anything that I pray for as long as I'm praying to him to do it. And <laughs> yeah. I try to talk to my younger ones about it too. I'm like, you see that toy you were telling me about a few days ago? Mm-hmm. Why don't you uh, pray to God <laughs> to um, grant it for you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because before you ask mom and dad, it's yeah. God that gives them the power and the ability and the strength to be able to get it for you. All right. So mm-hmm. why don't you go pray right now, huh? Uh-huh. And they're like, yes, this is okay. This kind of broadcast will not go viral because it doesn't require a woman saying, eh, 20 million to open my legs. You are not interested. See, and many people may they watch me now. You now you know they're interested on this kind of things. Let's be honest. You are watching me now. You are watching this thing now, but you are not interested in it. Search your heart. You see, if Search your heart and tell yourself, are you even interested in what this young lady is saying, young girl, young child is saying? You are not. Then if you are not interested, you just you should just tell yourself, Kai, how come my heart has become so dark? You claim people claim to go to church to love God. They don't. Now all those kind of things, you know, they trend. All those kind of things doesn't trend. I love the message and I say, no, I must pass this message on. It's not about the trendy issues. It's not about that. I must pass this message on. It's not about 20 million if I open legs. Happy Sunday, guys. And uh, may God bless us all. May God show us the right way. Peace. And before I go, don't forget, uh, tomorrow I'm going to post the giveaway name so I understand the second. Don't worry.